hey guys welcome to another video just here i hope you're doing well today i'll be showing you very quickly a cool free app on mac os that allows you to move and resize your windows however you want now one of the most annoying things still on mac os is the is the fact that apple has not given us an easy way to manage our windows so if you've got multiple apps open multiple windows open it's so it's so stressful to arrange them the way you want and sort of get them to snap and size correctly so for example if you want to display three different windows at the same time on your screen you're working on an assignment you're typing up a paper and you've you, you've got to use your browser at the same time or you've got iMessage open whatever it is it's so frustrating that apple doesn't give us an easy way to do this but you know worry not anymore i've got a very cool app for you today called rectangle that solves this problem and it's completely free you don't pay a penny for this of course as i always advise and recommend please support developers who make their apps completely free for you so if, if it's just a dollar you can spare donate to those guys and i'm sure they'll love it now let's dive right in and i'll show you this cool new app so i'll go over to my desktop right quickly right and the name of the app is called rectangle and you access that by going to rectangleapp.com rectangleapp Com. Now it's a very you know simple website. You hit on the download button. It's open source, like I said, so you, you can be you can rest assured that this is a good app. It's not going to mess with your computer or anything like that. And as usual, please donate if you can. Uh, that that encourages developers like this to keep making their uh, products free for everyone to use. Okay, so once you've downloaded Rectangle. And you've installed it on your computer what you need to do is open rectangle for the first time and when when you open it for the first time when you launch for the first time I beg your pardon you get this dialogue asking you to authorize rectangle so you need to go into your system preferences and give it permissions uh, this essentially allows the app to control your windows now apple does this just for security reasons but again it's perfectly fine uh, to give this app permissions to do so so once uh, your settings is open, mine's just going to be a second because I'm recording at the same time I'm doing this. So just bear with me. Right, so once your uh, your settings is open, it's going to load up security and privacy. Again, it's taking a second because I'm recording at the moment. So you want to click this lock so you can make changes. And of course, enter your password. And then you can scroll over, look for it, rectangle. So make sure you tick the checkbox, which gives it exactly. So you can see the dialogue has changed to welcome to rectangle because it has its needed permission. So you can go ahead and uh, click the lock again to prevent further changes and close this window. You don't need that anymore. So welcome to rectangle. You can choose your default shortcuts and behavior. Again, always go recommended. Once you get, once you get used to this software, you can always change it later, right? So just click on recommended and it shows you you know just a bunch of shortcuts you can use if you'd like to you know just quickly um manipulate your windows you can take a screenshot of this you can always access this again through uh the menu for rectangle and yeah you don't need to bother about this for now uh, again you don't really need to worry about that so go over to your settings tab by clicking on the uh, just a little set since icon over there and make sure you've got launch and login ticked so that this launches every time you, you you turn on your computer and of course you can always do this as well to check for updates automatically uh, i like to have that so i don't have to fuss about this at all so yeah you can close this you can go over ahead and close this and if you look at the top of if you look at your menu bar you'd see this rectangular icon <laughs> you know the apps rectangle and when you click that you see various options so left half right half center off etc 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 you can move to edge you can do fourths you can do sixths so you can do all that so the way you want to use this as you can see all these options are disabled so you'd want to click on the window you'd like to arrange make that active then go over there and then choose what you want to do with it so you click on the window you want to make active And then you can go left you can go right you can go center you can go top half 
You can go bottom half. You can go top right. And you can click on another window and do the same. Whoops, sorry, I dragged by mistake. Click on another window, go over to the icon, and you know, let's make this bottom half. So you can see, nice and easy, arranges all your windows for you. Uh, let me just bring my face back up here. Okay guys, that's been it. Nice and easy, as I said. You know, this app is super cool, very free. Um, you might have noticed there was a bit of lag on my computer, on my Mac. That's for two reasons. It's because I'm recording this video and also because um, on my, unlike my other videos, I'm using my laptop, not my desktop. So it's slightly slower and I'm on the experimental new um, Mac OS uh, Monterey or something. Yeah, Monterey or something. The, the latest Mac OS beta, which is not yet fully released. So it's, it, it's a bit buggy, but trust me, you will have no problems with this software on your Mac. If you do, make sure you leave me a question or you know ask me a question in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you uh, as soon as I see it. And if you love this video, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, it helps me out, keeps me encouraged to make videos like this. And um, of course, again, guys, thanks for watching. We are over 800 subscribers now, which is just mind blowing. So thank you everyone. And I'll catch you next time. And as usual till then, you know what it is, be fantastic. See you around, cheers.